check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Misconduct in Badminton In the game of badminton, there are rules created for players' misconduct. There are four things that the umpire can do to penalize the players. Warning, issuing a yellow card, issuing a red card, and issuing a black card. Let's look at all of it. According to the BWF's instructions to technical officials, ITTO, Section 5.17, the umpire shall ensure that players' conduct on the court is honorable and in a sportsmanlike manner. When the umpire saw a breach of law from the players, he or she can issue a warning or a card. Warnings are normally given to players if the player breaches the law for the first time, or it is not that serious. A yellow card can be given to players with a more serious offense, or to players that already received a warning on the same offense. However, the umpire doesn't need to give a player a warning before giving him or her a yellow card. A yellow card can be given straight away. Acts that can get a player to receive this warning or cards are, delaying the play to enable the player to recover strength, or wind, or receive advice from their coach. Leaving the court during a match without the umpire's permission, except during the intervals. Deliberately cause delay in, or suspension of, play. Deliberately modify or damage the shuttle in order to change its speed or its flight. Behave in an offensive or inappropriate manner. And be guilty of misconduct not otherwise covered by the laws of badminton. Good serve. That's gone wide. Brackets go in the and take the ball to the middle. The ball is going to get sold. 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 They've come through three hard games. It went out for me. Oh, for goodness sake. Getting a, a yellow card. What on earth was that for? Although the order is, warning, yellow card, red card, and black card, the umpire does not necessarily have to follow that order. The issuing of the cards is based on the severity of the offense. Umpire can decide to give a straight yellow card, a straight red card, or even a straight black card. Umpire can also choose to give multiple yellow cards or red cards. So what are the consequences of receiving these cards? If a player received a yellow card, it will not affect the points for the game. It is just to show them a serious warning and remind them not to repeat the same offense again. He might receive a red card next time if he repeats the same offense. Although yellow cards don't affect the match points or result, Players in international games will be fined by BWF if they received a card. And he's got it. First time of asking. Smash into the body. Well, an entertaining match. Some good long rallies. Interspersed with some silly unforced errors here and there. Entertaining though. And recently. Receiving a red card, however, will affect the game directly. If a player receives a red card, his opponent will get one point. Oh, 
Receiving a black card is a player's nightmare. He will automatically be disqualified from the match, and the opponent will be given a victory. This normally happens for a serious offense or offenses that are repeated too many times. 21-12 win in the first game does bode well for them. Oh, oh and now there's a scrap as Bolton. Got right in front of the broadcast rotation. And no one's breaking these two up. Because there's a kick. This will be black card. A card can also be given to players before, after, or during intervals. Misconduct that happens after the match should be reported to the referee. There it is, misconducts and cards used in badminton.